Hey guys, so for lesson two, we are now looking at estimating products, okay? The word product just means the answer to a multiplication question, okay? That's what product is. So if you see this word product, it means we're multiplying, okay? So by the end of this lesson, we want you to be able to use mental map skills, okay? Same as before, to be able to estimate products, okay? So. Estimating is very important. It gives you a good idea of how close your answer actually is. Okay? So, let's take our first example. Let's say we have 29 multiplied by 688. Okay? So, rounding these numbers, we want them to be easy to work out mentally. That means we want compatible numbers, which we talked about in the other topic, right? Compatible numbers are numbers that work easy together so that you can use them mentally to calculate, okay? So, we just want to find an estimate, a rough idea of what we think the answer is. We're not going to use these numbers, right? We need something quick. 29, what number is it close to? Let's round, okay? Well. It's close to 30. It's only one away from 30, right? So let's use that. So let's change it to 30. 688. It's very close to 700, right? Let's look at 88 itself. It's very close to 100, so it goes up. So 688 is very close to 700. So let's use that, okay? Now we have numbers that we can easily work with. We have lots of zeros at the end, which is great. And our first two numbers are very compatible because we know them from our times tables, right? So, 3 times by 7, we should know is 21. And now we can just add our zeros, just like the previous lesson. We have 1, 2, 3 zeros. 1, 2, 3 zeros. Okay? And that is our estimate. So we think that the answer to 29 times by 688 is approximately, it's close to, it's roughly 21,000. These words I just used, you'll hear them a lot, okay? So we think it's going to be somewhere near 21,000, okay? Now then, there's one more thing we can add to this. Two words you're going to come across, overestimate and underestimate. Okay, so we have the exact answer, what it will be, right? The exact answer. Now then, depending on how we round our numbers, we can say this is an overestimate or an underwhelm. So, let's look at the numbers first, how we rounded them. 29 got rounded up. So did 688, 700. So these two numbers are actually bigger than both of these. That must make this estimate of ours an overestimate, okay? Because both of these numbers are bigger. So we know this is an overestimate, so that the actual answer must be a little bit less, okay? So if we use smaller numbers for both of these, then we can say it's an underestimate, okay? So let's move on to our next example. Let's say we have now. 210 multiplied by 733. Okay? Again, let's use compatible numbers, round the numbers to make it so easy we can do it like this. Okay? So, 210, we don't need a 10, let's just change it to 200. 733. We don't need the 33, it's so close to 700, let's stick to that. Okay, so now we have our numbers to work with. Great, a bunch of zeros again, and easy compatible numbers, right? So two times seven is 14. How many zeros? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, okay? Now, is this an overestimate or underestimate, okay? So, we round it down, we round it down. So because both numbers are less than the actual numbers we're using, this must be an underestimate, OK? 
Okay? So that means the actual answer will be bigger than the estimate that we gave. Okay? So it's just kind of useful to know if it's an over or under. So we know where our answer kind of should be. Okay? So let's do our next scoop. Right. 43 multiplied by 108. Again, right guys? You should be looking at this now and saying 43 is close to 40, so that's what we're going to use. And 108 is close to 100. 40 times by 100, mental math, right? 4 times 1 is 4. How many zero? 1, 2, 3, okay? And that's it. Overestimate or underestimate, both numbers went down. So that means this is an underestimate, okay? And our next one, we have 380 multiplied by 690, okay? 380, what is it close to? 400, so we'll take it up, okay? The 8 can go up. So, 400, 690, 690, so close to 700. Now, do we have compatible numbers? Yes. 4 times 7 in our times tables. 4 times 7 is 28. Add your zero, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, okay? And finally, is it an over or an under? What did we do? We took both numbers and we went up. So that means our final, our estimate is higher. So it's an overestimate. So the actual answer will be a little bit less. Okay? Now, let's just finish off two more numbers, two more questions, but without over and under. Okay? So let's say we have 180 multiplied by 586. Okay? Let's do our estimation. The 180, where does it go, guys? Up or down? Well, it's so close to 200. 18 is a number itself, so close to 20. Let's just take it up. Yeah? And 586, it's just so close to 600. So that's what we're going to use. Again, we have our compatible numbers 2 and 6, which makes 12. And count your zeros 1, 2, 3, 4. That's it. Done. Next one. 25 and by 191. Now guys, sometimes you don't have the round. Depends. Right? So 191, we definitely will round it. We don't want to use that number. Let's make it 200. Nice, easy, compatible number. Right? The 25. Do we really need to change it? Because I'm sure that most of you are very comfortable with using 25 and multiplying it by 1, 2, 3, and 4. Because they are quarters. 25, 50, 75, 100. And you should be very comfortable with their numbers at this stage. Okay? So, it should be easy enough for everyone to say 25. We can keep it the same. So it's 25 multiplied by 200, okay? 25 times by 2 is 50, right? Now, let's add our zeros, 1, 2, okay? 1, 2. Remember, 25 times 2 is 50. There's two more zeros to add extra, okay? These two zeros here are there, okay? And that is pretty much it for this lesson, guys. Hopefully, you can be able to just use some quick mental math to be able to do these kind of questions very quickly, okay?